Hi everyone, I'm going to do a very basic demonstration of Socrative. If you haven't heard about it already, it's a wonderful tool for student assessment, um, quizzes, gathering student information, data, etc., all sorts of things. Uh, the first thing to note is there's two versions of the app. There's the teacher's version and there's a student version. It's available free both on Android and the iPhone. You can also access Socrative via the website. Uh, the first thing is, is we have a, uh, a room number and that's all the students need to join the room. Uh, no login, login is needed so it's quite uh, quick and easy to set up. Students can access this either again via, the, via their apps on their phones or by opening up a web browser. Um, I immediately get to see how many students have joined the room. Um, and then I have a number of options to choose from. We can either have single question activities, so it's multiple choice, true or false, votes or short answers, or I can have a uh, start a quiz which I've set up or created before lesson. If I if I create a quiz, it's quite easy to share that quiz with other teachers in the department or indeed across the world. So the kind of things that I might do. Um, here I posed a question about the difference between range and co-domain um, and students entered their answers as more students enter their answers um, we get to see that so it's live and uh, indeed more answers I then have the option of voting so when I press vote students can vote on an answer which they think um, best describes um, the difference um, and that leads to some very interesting discussions um, and is a great way to um, identify any misconceptions students might have um, and again I, I think the great thing to em emphasize here is that it's all live so as students are interacting and this is projected on the screen they can see um, all the data as um, it's been generated live so as they vote as they put in their answers all of that is coming up on the screen also there's voting it's a true and false question um, and they tend to enjoy doing that as well again it leads to a lot of discussion and one of the great things about this is I get to see everybody's response they get to see everybody's response and it gives us uh, the opportunity to discuss um, question probe further into a topic um, both at the beginning of a lesson as well as during or towards the end. There's a lot here to explore. Um, I'll leave it at that for the moment. I hope that's been useful. Bye for now.